Wednesday uh, was a few of the classes of the alkaloidal drugs. Okay, so today uh, continuing that particular section, we are going to see today few more classes of uh, alkaloidal drugs. Okay, uh, so last time what did we do? Let us revise, or you can write in your uh, comment section. Uh, <coughs> please uh, write down the drugs that we had done last time. Uh, class of drugs that we completed last lecture. Few of you, so that I can uh, you know understand that all of you are there. I will check that. Yeah, <coughs> I'm waiting. No one. Yes, last time which class of drugs did we study? No one recollect. Okay. So then in that case, I will revise myself. So last time what did we do was purine alkaloids. Okay. And uh, today what we are going to start is with indole alkaloids. Okay. And we will uh, see a few of the miscellaneous alkaloids as well. Okay. So alkaloids as a whole, I have explained last time in detail. I have also re revised it. Okay. Yeah. Shreya, thank you for the comment. Okay. So today we are going, uh, let us start with uh, the next set of drugs, which is indole alkaloids. So any one of you, can you tell me what is exactly an indole ring? Indole ring. Do you know what is an indole ring? How many membered ring it is? Of course, it's a nitrogen containing ring. Whether it is a six membered ring, seven membered ring, does any one of you recollect? Uh, My screen sharing uh, is not enabled. Uh, Radhika, can you enable my screen sharing, please? Just few moments, I will start up uh, the PPT. Yeah, it's done. So, in case of indole alkaloids, what is it? It is now indole name. Okay, that how can we connect with the alkaloidal drugs that we are going to study ahead that we will see. Class of drugs is very important. I always say that it is important to understand the basic chemistry of the class and what are the basic principles behind that particular class of compounds. Okay, like <clears throat> we are going to study under this indole alkaloids five different drugs, which are nothing but ergot, nuxvamica, physostigma, raulpia, and vinca. Okay, so these five different drugs we are going to study. So what are these indole alkaloids? They are the drugs with very high therapeutic uses. Okay. 1H indole is nothing but benz benzopyrrole. Okay. Why it is said as benzopyrrole? If you have a look again at the structure, this is a benzene ring and this is a pyrrole ring. Five-membered nitrogen-containing ring is nothing but pyrrole. So it's a benzopyrrole 
in which the benzene and pyrrole rings they are fused together in the two and second and the third position okay now this indole has a good solubility in a wide range of solvents including pet ether benzene chloroform and hot water so if this has good solubility how what will be the solvent of choice of extraction any of this okay if you want to isolate or extract indole alkaloids you will choose this particular solvent serotonin which has been identified as a metabolite in brain chemistry okay <coughs> the psychotomimetic indole it comes under under the class of what psychotomimetic indoles psilocine and psilocybin from mushrooms then the tranquilizer reserpine what is a tranquilizer what is a tranquilizer yaad nahi aa raha hai kya i cannot see anything in comment section i am waiting guys what is a tranquilizer sedative analgesic tranquilizer what is it is it the same yes tranquilizer and sedative are almost the same they are sleep inducing drug okay <clears throat> so basically they are going to reduce the irritation nothing else okay and some of the melanin pigments are the few of the compounds that have been studied under indole alkaloids so let us begin with the first drug which is nothing but ergot ergot is nothing but dried sclerotium sclerotium matlab kya skin okay dried sclerotium of the fungus claviceps purpurea belonging to family clavicipitaceae developed in the ovary of the rye plant okay sicaceral belonging to family graminae okay so this is the rye plant and if you see this is the growth of the fungus that is nothing but ergot <coughs> so when uh, you have uh, now uh, uh, important from this is what okay this, so how this is a biological source first of all because here a fungus is involved okay but this fungus will only grow when it attaches to the rye plant so important is both okay the biological source of the fungus as well as the biological source of the plant okay now which are the uh, <coughs> uh, alkaloids that we are interested into it is ergotoxine okay which is a uh, point Uh, sorry 15% not less than 15% okay uh, a, which is ergometric okay now the name of this drugs originated from french work ergot which means for the toxic symptoms of this were gangrene in extremities and convulsions gangrene you know no similar uh, the entire body will start getting infected okay it's a like a pre radical uh, re reaction continuous type of a reaction further it was discovered that it was used in obstetrics okay so this were the toxicity issues with regards to ergot but the important therapeutic use when we consider ergot is nothing but it was used in obstetrics obstetrics matlab kya guys it is a branch of uh, i will say uh, <coughs> gynecology okay so gynecology mein there are some doctors which uh, uh, deal with the uh, child birth okay they are known they are known as obstetrician spe specifically uh, in high risk pregnancies okay how this uh, ergot is collected it is produced by natural way that is cultivation of rye plant where rye plant is the host and ergot is the parasite now among the all host why we choose rye because it is the better host for large production of ergot by way of its quality and quantity another method is using saprophytic production now among the various stages of the development of the fungus sclerotial stage or a dormant stage contains the maximum amount of the drug now what is this sclerotial stage what is this dormant stage that we are going to understand in the next slide so yahan se ek thoda sa idea le lo ki we are going to study the life cycle of ergot okay now why we are studying this in the gpac 
why why are we studying this as far as gpat is considered because <laughs> when you understand understand this when you uh, talk about gpat then in that there are there were questions on life cycle of ergot specifically stage of ergot that is why we are studying so life cycle has three important stages specialia or honeydew or a sexual stage second is the sclerotium or sexual stage and third is the ascospore stage let us see the first stage which is specialia or honeydew stage here the ripe plants will be infected by the spores of the fungus in the spring then the spores will be carried away by the wind or by insects to the flowers and it will be collected at the base of the young ovary where the moisture is present so moisture jahan pe hoga wahan pe hi wo insect aayega okay so <coughs> why it is also called as honeydew because wahan pe aisa kuch material rahega which will attract the insects okay for the uh, for the uh, sticking of the ovary then the germination of the spores will take place a filamentous hyphae will be formed which will enter the wall of the ovary by the enzymatic action a soft white mass is formed over the surface of the ovary which is known as fascia hence it is also known as fascia stage then a sweet viscous liquid which is known as honeydew from the ends of some hyphae small conidospores are abstracted now the sweet taste of these honeydew is going to attract the insects and they will suck the liquid and carry the conidospores to the plants and further spread the fungal infection in the plant these cultured conidospores can be used as inoculum so this is about the asexual stage next comes the sexual stage so here what will happen सिंपल जैसे एंड्रोशियम गाइनेशियम होता है सिमिलरली इन दिस केस हाइफे विल पेनिट्रेट डीपर फीड ऑन द ओवेरियन टिश्यूज एंड रिप्लेस इट बाय कॉम्पैक्ट डार्क पर्पल हार्ट टिश्यू व्हिच इज नोन एज सूडो पैरन काइमा यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज अ पैरन काइमा इन अ प्लांट राइट सो सूडो मतलब इट्स अ फॉल्स पैरन काइमा नाउ दिस विल फॉर्म द स्क्लेरोशियम और द डोरमेंट स्टेज ऑफ द फंगस सो ड्यूरिंग summer the sclerotium or ergot increases its size and projects on the rind showing special and remains at its apex now it is collected in this stage by the hands or machine then it is dried to remove moisture and after 6 weeks uh, the mature sclerotia are harvested they may be picked up or may be collected by machine third stage is the acospore stage so if at all your our cycle ends but if at all ergot is not collected what will happen it will fall on the ground so in the next spring session they will produce stalk like projection which are projections which are known as ascospores okay these globular heads will contain many sacs which are known as ascospores and these ascospores are further carried out by insects or wind to the flowers of the rice as described in the first stage which was nothing but the a sexual stage or the special stage stage in this way the ergot life cycle is complete okay <clears throat> so this is the stage this is how the cycle takes place this is the a sexual stage specialia hun honeydew conidospores okay and then further in the summer season the sclerotium is collected spring mein chalu hota hai summer mein there is collection and then the sexual stage entirely takes place and finally we if it is not collected then we get to the ascospores okay so this is how the entire life cycle of the ergot plays a role now what is a saprophytic production more convenient in production as it eliminates the variation in yield where due to weather conditions and production can be achieved throughout the year now claviceps paspelli gives calcines and lysergic acid derivatives it is practiced more nowadays because mycelial dry weight gives even more than 20% of alkaloids whereas natural sclerotia will contain less than 1% of alkaloids so saprophytic meaning is it's an artificial way of production okay <clears throat> 
what is the see if you see this this is nothing but ts of the sclerotium of fungus samjho it is not of the plant but here the ts is discussed about the fungus okay this is the surface layer which contains the brown contents then there are oil globules and if you see here there are mycelial cells okay what are they they are nothing but the mycelial cells <coughs> so major chemical constituents are alkaloids which are derivatives of lysergic acid lysergic acid pre is present in peptide form and hence the alkaloids are also called as peptide alkaloids and most important alkaloids are ergonovin okay ergometrine and ergotamine now if you see they are, they are divided into two water soluble and water insoluble alkal alkaloids okay water soluble will have ergometrine group insoluble will have ergotamine and ergotoxic so ergometrine wala sa water soluble aayega ergotamine and ergotoxic ergocrystine ergocryptin all this will be water insoluble alkaloids this is nothing but a structures of alkaloid uh, and how they are derived from lysergic acid diethyl amide or uh, they are also known as lysergic acid derivatives so oq because of this ring okay this indole ring and it has somewhat similar structure of that of lysergic acid so that is shown in this picture because this ergot also contains pigments like ergosterol and fungisterol histamine amino acids chitin choline and pyxtol besides okay besides this ergot will also contain this derivatives now what is the chemical test given by ergot under uv light it shows a red colored fluorescence okay whereas when it is extracted with a mixture of chloroform and sodium carbonate chloroform is separated and a mixture of para dimethyl dimethyl benzyl amino benzyl dehyde and sulfuric acid and 5% ferric chloride is added to it deep color blue color is produced now this is nothing but van oorx test okay and para dimethyl amino benzyl dehyde is also known as van oorx reagent okay van oorx test is specific for ergot alkaloids and there is lot of time question on ng pat with regards to this so remember this okay <clears throat> ergometrine is going to give a blue fluorescence in water and ergotamine okay so remember this is this was which water soluble and ergotamine is water insoluble so since it is water soluble it is going to give blue color fluorescence ergotamine is dissolved in glacial acetic acid and small portion is treated with sulfuric acid which will uh, by which blue color with red tinge appears by addition of ferric chloride blue color will deepen now where is this ergot used it is used as a oxytocic vasoconstrictor and abortive patient if you if you remember hum log ne sabse pehle dekha ki it was been used in obstetrics and here we read the word abortive patient link the connection between the two okay obstetrics and abortifacient abortifacient is nothing but abortion okay the drugs which induce abortion and it is used to assist delivery and to reduce postpartum hemorrhage okay delivery may be kya chahiye that baby should come out okay so it it will basically it is going to uh, act act as a in case of that it is going to help in relaxation of that part okay but it is going to have vasoconstrictor effect ergometrine is oxytocic and used in delivery only ergometrine produces an oxytocic effect ergotoxin is used in geriatrics and ergotamine will have a quite different action so three different drugs we cannot just as a ergot le liya aur kha liya nahi it has to be isolated the constituents of the uh, ergot has to be isolated because all the three constituents have different effects ergotamine and the semi synthetic dihydroergotamine salts are used as specific analgesics for treatment of migraine lsd is a drug of abuse lsd is nothing but lysergic acid diethylamide and we all know that it is nothing but a drug of abuse and it comes under the act of ndps that is narcotic and psychotropic substances act
Next drug that we see is Nuxvomica. Nuxvomica, everyone must have seen in their labs as well as everyone must have experienced uh, the taking the TS of this Nuxvomica. Very beautiful looking seeds they are, okay? <coughs> and the biological source of this is nothing but Strychnus Nuxvomica belonging to family Loganaceae. Major alkaloids that are present are Strychnine and Brucine, okay? If you see, look under the uh, microscope, the microscopy of this uh, particular drug, it has very good hair-like projections. If you see, they are nothing but trichomes, okay? And they are, if you if you get a proper TS, no? Pura achche se TS loge na, with the gland, uh, hairs covering trichomes, glandular, that are present, then you will be able to see this. But now trichomes bahut bar cut ho jata hai. So you have to be very careful while, ta uh, while taking the TS of this drug. Okay. So they are nothing but lignified. When I say lignified, that means it is going to get stained and it contains lignin that is present in it. Okay. So they are lignified by trichomes. Okay. That is about the microscopy of uh, Nux vomica. Then of course, since it is a seed, it will have an endosperm. Then there are plasbord esma that are also present. Okay, <clears throat> aluron grains are present and oil globules are present. So, uh, yes, it is also known as vomit or poison. Okay, it should not contain less than 0.2% of strychnine. Because of its poisonous nature, the drug was used to kill animals in 16th century. Okay, but now we have uh, found out the quantity that we can intake for the therapeutic use. So, it, it if you take it in that quantity, it will not have the toxic effect. Okay. Chief constituents are strychnine and brucine, as I explained earlier also. There is uh, <coughs> therapeutically active strychnine and there is toxic alkaloid and is located in central portion of the endosperm. Okay. So, strychnine is uh, located in the central portion of the endosperm. So, somewhere, if, we, if this is a TS, if you take a circular section, you will understand. Beach mein jo endosperm hai na, vaha pe strychnine present hoga. Brucine is nothing but demethoxy strychnine. So, if you remember, uh, remove the OCH3 groups and replace it by hydrogen, it will become strychnine. It's an eye difference there. But it is less toxic and has very little physiological action. It is intensely bitter and is used as a standard for determining the bitter value of many bitter drugs. It also contains a glycoside. Okay, we are studying alkaloids, but if you see here, it's a glycoside. Kaise samjha? Yaha pe sugar hai. Okay, and this is the glycone part. Connected with oxygen. So, this is a O type of glycoside. Remember, ha? Ye bhi aata exam mein. Rucin is nothing but a uh, sorry, loganin is nothing but a O type of glycoside which is present in Nux vomica. <coughs> Cell walls of endosperm of Nux vomica are thick walled and contain reserve material hemicellulose containing of mannan and galactans, which on hydrolyzing will yield man, uh, mannose and galactose. Okay, now what are the chemical tests that are performed? So, first is the strychnine test which is done on the TS. Okay, TS is stained with ammonium mandate and sulfuric acid, which is also known as Mandine's reagent. This sare reagents ka naam ma, it, naam, it is very useful. Ha. Malab, GPAT mein ye questions bhi aate hai. Ye alkaloid ke basic, alkaloids mein hi bhoot sare reagents hai in fact. Okay, basic na drag and drop kya hota hai, mayor, Wagner kya hota hai, general test of alkaloids mein ye sab hai. Okay, then if you go into each and every drug, so, for a drug may be different reagents. Hai. So, this guy you can make a table. Okay. <clears throat> Mandine's reagent, the middle portion of the endosperm is stained purple to, due to the presence of strychnine. Right? We saw no strychnine is present in the middle portion, that is the endosperm, and brucine is present at the periphery. So, TS with concentrated nitric acid, outer part of the endosperm will be stained yellow due to the presence of brucine. Then potassium dichromate test, strychnine will give violet color which turns to red 
and then finally yellow with potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid. Now, what are the uses of Nakswamika? It acts as a bitter, okay, increasing appetite. It stimulates peristalsis. Now, what do you understand by the word peristalsis? It is nothing but improved movement. Uh, wo jo <coughs> to and fro, to and fro is not the correct word. The <coughs> action uh, of the in the movement of the intestine. Okay, to pass the stools forward. Okay, continuous movement of the intestine to pass the stools forward. That is nothing but peristalsis. So it will improve peristalsis. So in chronic constipation due to autonomy of the bowel, it is often combined with cascara and other laxatives with good effects. It stimulates respiratory and cardiovascular systems. Strychnine also has a stimulant action on spinal cord and reflex movements are better. Brucine will closely resemble strychnine in its action, but is slightly less poisonous. It paralyzes the peripheral motor nerves. It is said that the convulsive action characteristic of strychnine is absent in brucine almost entirely. So the bitterness value of brucine is four times higher than that of strychnine. Okay. Now what are the adulterants? So dried seeds of strychnus nux blanda, which is regular uh, shape, contain less amount of alkaloids. Then dried seeds of strychnus potatorium, strychnus viliacina, and strychnus ignati. So all these are nothing but adulterants to strychnus nux vomica, okay, which is our, uh, which is the regular <coughs> official biological source of nux vomica. Or Harik adulterant Q hair, that also it has been mentioned. Next, we come to the next drug, which is Spisostigma, which is also known as Caliber B or Ordeal B. These are nothing but dried ripe seeds of Spisostigma veninosum belonging to family leguminosae. So, Spisostigmine, ye suna hoga. Okay, Spisostigmine injection. Generally, it is used during. Uh, pupil uh, contraction okay so this is uh, used by uh, op uh, ophthalmologist okay it is used for op by ophthalmologist in case of different eye conditions okay so major constituent of physostigma is physostigmine also called as etherine and it is present in cotyledons okay again here it is seeds okay Preserved properly from air and light as it is oxidized into rubricerine, red compound when exposed to air. The other alkaloids present are acetamide, geniserine, calabantine, isophysostigmine, and norphysostigmine. Okay. It shows parasympathomimatic activity categorized as anticholine esterase agent. Enhances the cholinergic activity by inhibiting cholinerase, uh, choline esterase. And hence, parasympathetic activity is sustained by physostigmine administration. Mainly, it is used for diseases of eye. Like I said, it causes rapid contraction of pupil and disturbed vision. So this is also used during pre-operative uh, stages or uh, during uh, taking out uh, eye uh, different eye tests. Okay. It is also used as an antidote for reversing most of the cardiovascular, that is tachycardia and arrhythmia, and CNS effects due to overdose with tricyclic antidepressants. Why? Because it is a very good stimulant. Okay. So if you see, look at the structure of physostigmine, again, it's nothing but ear and indole ring. Next, we come to the next drug, which is nothing but Raulfia. Now, this is also known as Chotachan or Raulfia. Serpentina. Okay. Raulfia Serpentina. <coughs> or also known as Sarpaganda. Q has a name because it almost has S shape. If you see here. Okay, like a snake. It has S shape. So it consists of dried roots of the plant known as Raulfia Serpentina, belonging to family Apocynaceae. Okay. Contains not less than 0.15% of reserpine and agmalacin. 
because of its name sarpaganda it was found importance in treatment of insanity and snake bite since traditional times the drug came into li limelight only after the isolation of reserp okay so once the reserpine was isolated we could understand the therapeutic benefits of brown beer so let us see what are these uh, benefits before that have a look at the microscopy if you look here it has a very good brown colored cork okay which uh, generally in in case of root is grayish yellow to brown and uh, bitter in taste okay then further so this is the cork it has if you see there are layers in the cork that is what is it is nothing but layered cork also known as stratified cork further it has if you see have a look here color blue color is nothing but stained with iodine they are nothing but starch grains okay then what you see here are small patches of calcium oxalate crystals and here you see is nothing but xylem and phloem fibers okay so parenchyma will contain starch grains secondary phloem will contain uh, calcium oxalate crystals xylem vessels are elongated and contain simple or bordered bits stone cells and phloem fibers are absent then if in case of raulfi it contains about 80 indole alkaloids okay from raulfi i have been reported it is broadly classified into indole alkaloids indoline indolenin oxyindole and pseudo indoxyl alkaloids the most important alkaloid of raulfi is nothing but reserpine jo yahan pe dikh raha hai na okay if you see it's a long structure but this is nothing but trimethoxy acid benzoic acid trimethoxy benzoic acid which is attached here to this entire structure okay so the other alkaloidal components are azmalin azmalacin serpentine uh, reserpine isoazmalacin euhembenin etc so reserpine is ester as i said you na yahan pe benzoic acid hai so ye if you see here it's an ester of methyl reserpate and trimethoxy benzoic acid so reserpine ka structure yaad rakhna bahut easy hai ओके, सो मिथाइल रेसरपेट का स्ट्रक्चर मैम कैसे याद रखे तो अंडरस्टैंड ओनली फॉर जीपैट इफ यू वांट टू स्टडी स्टडी दैट इट हैज इंडोल रिंग एंड इट इज एन एस्टर ऑफ विच कंटेन ट्राई विथॉक्सी बेन्जॉइक एसिड बस इतना याद रखा इट्स ओके ओके देन रेसिनामाइन इज ए नथिंग बट अगेन रेसिनामाइन ट्राईमिथॉक्सी सॉरी ट्राईमिथॉक्सी सिनेमिक एसिड ओके यहाँ पे भी OCH3 एच थ्री है आई डोट नो हाउ इट हैज मिस्ड आउट यूर इट्स नथिंग बट ट्राई मिथॉक्सी सिनेमिक एसिड सी एच डबल वन सी एच है ना तो सिनेमिक एसिड देन साइरेगोसोपिन इज मिथाइल कार्बो कार्ब इथॉक्सी सिरेंगोल रेसरपिन ओके नाउ वॉट आर द केमिकल टेस्ट रेसरपिन इज गोइंग टू शो वायलेट रेड कलर वेन ट्रीटेड विथ सोल्यूशन ऑफ एनलिन एंड एसिटिक एसिड red coloration with medullary rays is observed when freshly fractured raulfi is treated with nitric acid and further when it is treated with sulfuric acid and para dimethylamine or benzaldehyde it is going to develop violet to red color now what are the uses of raulfi it is anti hypertensive specific for insanity reduces blood pressure and cures pain due to affection of the bowels then it gives in labor it is given in labor to increase uterine contractions so ek indol alkaloids generally they are used for obstetrics okay azmalacin has now if you see raul pi has 80 indol alkaloids so har ek alkaloid ka use alag hoga okay azmalacin has pharmacological properties similar to those of quinidine ओके सो क्विनिडीन का क्या है अरिदमिया सो एजमेलिसिन इज आल्सो यूज्ड समवेयर इन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ कार्डिया अरिदमियाज क्वीनिन रिमेंबर सिंकोना में क्वीनिन इज एंटी मलेरियल एंड क्विनिडीन इज एंटी अरिदमिक 
Ajmalicin uh, has use in circulatory dis. This was ajmalin. Sorry, huh? And relief of obstruction of normal cerebral blood flow. Because of the tranquilizing effects, the drug is used in mild anxiety condition and reserpine in some of the neuropsychiatric disorders. Adulterants to Ralphia is Ralphia vomitoria, Ralphia tetraphyla, Nitida, and Densiflora. Last drug under indole alkaloids that we have a look at is Vinca, which is also known as Catheranthus or Periwinkle. क्या बोलते हैं उसको और एक मराठी नेम फॉर विंका इज नथिंग बट सदाफुली ओके इट इज आल्सो नोन एज सदाफुली ओके सो द प्लांट इज पेरिनियल ओके सो यस कैथरेंटस रोजियस बिलोंगिंग टू फैमिली अपोसाइनेस ये आल्सो कॉल्ड एज विंका रोजिया The plant was used as a tea earlier for the treatment of diabetes and for toothache. Later on, these Canadian workers, Noble Beer and Cuts, first studied the oral hypoglycemic principle of the plant, and during their study, they isolated an alkaloid having anti-leukemic principle, and it was named as Vinca leucoblastin. Okay, what it was named as Vinca leucoblastin. Further in-depth study of the plant was carried out by Eli Lilly and his colleagues, and they isolated several compounds, okay, having and anti exhibiting anti-cancer activity. And Vinca contains almost as high as eighty-six alkaloids. Like you saw for Ralphia, it has eighty alkaloids. Vinca has almost eighty-six alkaloids. Now this plant is perennial. and it retains its glossy leaves throughout the winter plant refers prefers light uh medium soil okay uh it can grow up well in shade or semi shade conditions okay roots are further collected by plugging and later on washed extraction and separation is based on the soluble and insoluble tartrate rates in solvents due to this wind crystal wind blasting okay and other weak bases are separated and then fraction with the help of column chromatography if you have a look at the plant first of all understand whole plant is used okay next you understand the microscopy of the leaf because a major interested alkaloids are present in the leaves okay so leaves ka microscopy is somewhat similar to any other leaf okay what is your different okay that it has a lot of spongy parenchyma okay it has a lot of spongy parenchyma and it is a dorsi ventral leaf that is it has palisade present only on the lower epidermis or only on the single epidermal region okay so baki the Uh, microscopy is same as that of any other leaf important alkaloids that are present in catheranthus are dimer alkaloids so dimer indole indoline alkaloids when i said dimer that means just a polymer mein do sugar hota hai to dimer matlab do molecules hai ek indole ka aur ek indoline ka which is attached aur isliye wo bhayanak structure of vincristin and and vinblastin is because of that okay when blasting contains an indole alkaloid part called as catheranthin and dihydroindole alkaloid part which is known as vindolin okay indole this is the indole part of when blasting which is known as catheranthin and this is the dihydroindole part which is known as vindolin so when blasting is combination of catheranthin catheranthin and vindolin okay other alkaloids present in vinca are ajmalicin or uh, serpentine and tetrahydrolastamine oh uh, sorry hydrolastonin okay now vinblastine is an anti tumor alkaloid used in treatment of hodgkins children hodgkins disease vincristine is a cytotoxic compound used in treatment of leukemia in children vinca is used in herbal practice for its astringent 
and tonic properties in case of menorrhagia menorrhagia is what uh, excessive loss of blood during menstruation in ladies okay that is nothing but menorrhagia and in hemorrhages generally then for bleeding piles it may be applied externally as well as internally also used in treatment of diabetes flowers of periwinkle are gently purgative but lose their effect on dry gathered uh, gathered in the spring and made into a syrup they impart all their virtues and this uh, and thus it is stated as excellent as a gentle laxative for children and also for overcoming chronic constipation in grown persons okay so here we come to end of indole alkaloids okay i hope indole alkaloids is clear i uh, i will just uh, give one minute okay uh, if you want to ask any questions in the comment section please let me know till that i will be sharing the next uh, drugs that we will be covering today any questions anyone okay so then in that case let us continue with the next next uh, set of alkaloids so next is nothing but quinoline and uh, isoquinoline alkaloids okay so this is nothing but what you can see here is the quinoline ring one side and the other side is nothing but an isoquinoline ring so what is the difference only the position of the nitrogen okay so quinoline is had the has the nitrogen at position 1 whereas isoquinoline has it at the position 2 under this three drugs which uh, we are going to study is cinchona ipecac and opium now cinchona is under again quinoline okay and ipecac and opium are under isoquinoline so that let us see okay so cinchona is nothing but jesuit's bark or peruvian bark now there are different biological sources as far as cinchona is considered okay it is uh, uh, it is bark from trees of cinchona officinalis cinchona calisaya saxi rubra and legerina so different species or either the hybrids of the first two or last two belonging to family rubaceae so any of this will not be uh, an adulterant to cinchona but all these are nothing but the biological sources for cinchona so if you see the macroscopy or microscopy of this peruvian bark okay it has a cork 
and since it is a bark there is absence of xylem fibers it will end at phloem okay wood understand ha huh? stem jo hota hai wo banta hai bark aur wood se bark is the outer part or inner part jo conduction ke liye use hoga that will be nothing but your xylem and that will be wood okay that will that part is known as the wood which will contain xylem so a clear cut samjho and that is why since it's a bark it is going to end at phloem fibers or uh, you can say secondary phloem okay <clears throat> so the outer surface is yellowish brown with short fractures and the inner surface will vary in the all the four species like calicia and legerina is yellowish and officinalis is slightly brown yellow to brown and saxirubra is reddish brown so which cinchona you have at home Home, home. Generally, you don't have cinchona. You have cinnamon. So, okay. So, no worries. So, cinchona. If you see in the lab laboratory, which cinchona you are using, you will be able to identify that with the help of the color. Okay. Then, uh, there are uh, uh, specific uh, idioplast of calcium oxalate that are present, and that is the characteristic of cinchona bar. starch grains are present stone cells are rarely present and a few of corks <coughs> few of cork cells are lignified now cinchona in case of cinchona more than 30 alkaloids have been reported okay chiefly identified are quinidine quinine cinchonine and cinchonidine okay they are the chiefly identified alkaloids constituents are the stereo isomers of each other like quinine is stereo isomer of quinidine and cinchonine is stereo isomer of cinchonidine so 8r 9s ye configuration bahut baar ji pat mein pucha hai so understand this configurations okay and write it down in your book okay so whenever you are studying study in case of uh, cinchona especially the stereochemistry is very important now quinine and quinidine has a methoxy group like you can see here quinine and quinidine whereas cinchonidine and cinchonine has the hydrogen okay or they do not have a methoxy group other than this it also consists of bitter glycosides okay if you see the configuration of quinine and cinchonidine is same 8r 9s wala jo configuration hai यहाँ का ओके दैट इज सेम इन केस ऑफ क्विनिन एंड सिंकोनिडी एंड सेम इन केस ऑफ क्विनिडीन एंड सिंकोनि ओके क्विनिन विल ऑकर एज बीटर क्रिस्टल्स एंड इट डार्क वेन एक्सपोज टू सनलाइट एंड हैज फ्लोरोस एंड प्रॉपर्टीज इट हैज वेरी लेस सेलिबिलिटी इन वॉटर ड्यू टू विच इट इज सुटेबल फॉर ओरल यूज नाउ क्विनिडीन इज सिमिलर टू क्विनिन बट हैज हाई वॉटर सेलिबिलिटी Now the again, is me aiga abhi thalipin pressed, which is specific for cinchona alkaloids. Okay, so thalipin test is uh, what happens in this cinchona powder. Me you add one mL of or one drop of sulfuric acid, and then you add bromine water drop wise till the solution acquires permanent ye yellow color. and 1 ml of dilute ammonia uh, solution is added this will produce emerald green color which is specific to cinchona bark okay another test is when powdered drug is heated with glacial acetic acid it evolves perfume uh, purple fumes which condense in the top portion of the tube and cinchona bark when it is moistened with sulfuric acid and absorbed under uv it is showing blue fluorescence due to methoxy group present in quinin and quinidine so it is mainly employed as an anti malarial drug but it is also used as an anti pyretic analgesic protoplasmic bitters to magic and tonic quinine is the protoplasmic poison okay which is especially for the protozoa plasmodium vivax falciparum malarial and fatal okay and quinidine is a cardiac depressant and cinchonidine is used in rheumatism and neuralgia so cardiac depressant hai isliye it is used as an anti arrhythmic drug 
substitutes to this are remg pediculata remg per uh, pedu uh, piculato and re, uh, rem, remigia puridiana okay which is nothing but false cupria bark all this are nothing but the adulterants to cinchona next drug that we see is ipecac ipecac guana bhi bolte hai is drug ko okay so it's a dried root and rhizome of cephalus ipecacuana or cephalus acuminata belonging to family rubiaceae it's a small wayside plant with vomiting effects okay microscopy is it has a rhizome like you can see here okay it it's a rhizome ipecac is nothing but a rhizome so it has a core cortex then there are presence of calcium oxalate crystals phloem fibers there is a cambium that is present what is a cambium region it's a thin region between which separates your phloem and xylem fibers okay and then there is medullary rays that are present in between the xylem vessels okay so this is nothing but a characteristic uh, of uh, ipecac root or rhizo okay yes now what are the chemical constituents of ipecac it contains isoquinoline alkaloids maine bola tha na ek mein quinoline hai ek mein isoquinoline so you see here it's isoquinoline kind of alkaloids that belongs to phenolic and non phenolic groups main alkaloids are amitine cephaline cyclotrin orthomethyl cyclotrin and amitamine then there are non phenolic alkaloidal group which includes amitine and orthomethyl cyclotrin which a uh, while phenolic alkaloidal group which includes cephalene and cyclotrin ipecac will also contain ipecacuanic acid glycoside ipecacuanin and calcium oxalate okay all this will be present in ipecac so now again one more reagent that we see here is frods reagent okay to the addition of sulfuric acid and sodium malonate molybdate which is fraud reagent small quantity of amitine will give bright green color it is used as an emetic and expectorant alkaloids have local irritant action and also it is used in treatment of amoebic dysentery ipecac may important ha it is used in treatment of amoebic dysentery it has a more expectorant and less emetic action than cephalin in the treatment of amoebic dysentery <clears throat> amitine hydrochloride is given by injection and uh, amitine and bismuth iodine by mouth it also has anti tumor properties cyclotrin and its methyl ester ether are selective inhibitory inhibitors of hi okay last drug that we see for today's class is nothing but opium okay opium bahut baar suna hoga there are different preparations that can be made from opium okay it comes under npds or ndps f act that is narcotic and psychotropic drug substance act it cannot be cultivated everywhere you need special or you require special license for cultivation of opium it is air dried milky latex obtained by incision from the unripe capsules of papaver somniferum or papaver album belonging to family papaveraceae dried or partly dried by heat or spontaneous evaporation and worked into somewhat irregular shaped masses or mold dead into masses of uniform size and shape narcotin was the first alkaloid that was reported now opium this is cultivated under the license from the government npds act okay <clears throat> knife which is used my important points for drug cultivation ke theek hai you can read out knife which is used is known as nushtar okay which bears narrow spike like projection which are drawn down to the capsule to produce several longitudinal cuts the incision must not penetrate into interior of the capsule otherwise latex will be lost latex tube opens into one another latex which is white in the beginning immediately coagulates and turns brown like you can see here 
okay it is imme immediately going to coagulate and turn brown next morning it will be removed by scraping with a knife or an iron scoop which is known as charfala and transferred to a poppy leaf so each capsule is cut several times at intervals of 2 to 3 days after collection latex is placed in a tilted vessel so that a dark fluid which is not required may drain off by exposure to air opium acquires a suitable consistency for packaging dried latex is kneaded into balls wrapped in poppy leaves and dried in shade <clears throat> now which are the major principles or alkaloids okay morphine codeine thebe these are the major alkaloids okay phenanthrene so basically it uh, they are placed under benzyl isoquinoline class okay <clears throat> That is uh, narcotin, narcin, and papaverine. Whereas phenanthrin class me morphine, codeine, and thebane hai. Okay, so uh, yes, and morphine is monoacidic, levorotatory phenolic compound. Whereas there are diacetyl derivatives of morphine, which is known as heroin. Okay, so morphine ko hi yaha pe diacetylate kar diya. okay then it will turn into heroin if you see here okay heroin what is difference this hydroxyl group is replaced by this if if you demethoxy uh, codeine is nothing but morphine yeah so papaverine is monoacidic base and is inactive optically opium alkaloids are salts of meconic acid ye important hai they are salts of meconic acid okay and it contains tannins and starch grains as well so the general test to detect opium alkaloids is by meconic acid as they are present as salts of meconic acid aqueous extract of opium plus ferric chloride will show uh, or give deep purple color when persist on addition of hcl it indicates the presence of meconic acids morphine will give dark violet color with concentrated sulfuric and acid and formaldehyde when sprinkled with nitric acid it will give orange red color and when with potassium ferricyanide and ferric chloride it give bluish green color so uh, both this test codeine will not respond so it is also a distinguishing test between morphine and codeine papaverine in hcl will give a ye lemon yellow color with potassium ferricyanide solution it is used in case of uh, opium basically is used in case of what Uh, analgesic sedative action and used to relieve pain in case of diarrhea dysentery and cough then also they have a somniferous soporific sedative and narcotic use and used as anodyne and emollient codeine is mild sedative but what is the uh, 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 minus side of this drug or uh, disadvantages they are habit forming drugs and that is why that codex syrup was banned okay because people used to have it uh, just to have that you know matlab um, as a abuse okay as a drug of abuse it was used that is why the codeine syrup was banned okay noscapine is not narcotic and has cough suppressant action acting as a central antitussive drug papaverine has smooth muscle relaxant action and is used to cure muscle spasms opium morphine and diacetyl derivative heroin will cause drug addiction hydromorphone is formed by replacing one of these hydroxyl group and also removal of adjacent double bond which is again a potent narcotic analgesic but habit forming tendencies are less so in this case hydromorphone can be used it is not found to be adulterated as it is under government control okay so this is in short about quinoline or in detail i will say about quinoline and isoquinoline alkaloids okay now what we are left with is uh, the last uh, small uh, four five drugs which are amino alkaloids okay which will be again we will continue uh, uh, some other day okay and also we will discuss few of the mcqs that are related to alkaloids okay so next class everyone has to respond otherwise wo pura uh, matlab i cannot it, it will not be one to one discussion right
So respond so that we can discuss the MCQs in detail. Okay. So <clears throat> thank you everyone for the patient listening. Thank you.